Hello friends, welcome to my channel and in this video I am going to teach you how to write a small script for memorizing words which you are learning from some you know anime or some movie or some TV show all right or by just reading some book okay so this script can be very useful and it's always good to know how to write some small scripts to make your life a little bit better so what you can do is I'm going to use D menu in this so let me just quickly explain D menu a little so if I print like Neil by using echo it's just going to print it but if i use you know forward slash or not forward i think this is backward and n so it's just going to give me a next line and if i just type here nitin nitin and press enter so neil nitin and then again backward slash n and mukesh this time so you can see it's just going to print uh three and i can uh you know pipe this into d menu and here you can see i'm getting this prompt which is asking which option you want to choose and if i type mu so it's just going to give me Mukesh and if I press enter, it's just going to print, uh, you know, just Mukesh. And if I do this again and this time type something, none of these option is something. So just type something and press enter. So you can see it's giving me something which is very cool. And now what I can do is I can pass this hyphen P which is for prompt and just add word and press enter. So here I'm getting this add word and I can add any word. So new word. And you can see here I'm getting this new word, but I don't want these options. So just remove this. This is something we have to put in order to, you know, just use D menu as a input prompt. All right. So if I press enter now, it's not giving me any option and I can just type any new word. So uh, a new word like democracy. I don't know why I said this, but yeah, so this is like a new word which I learned. So I can just enter this on top of my D menu like here. And now I can just make the variable of this and store it in this word variable so word is equal to and then this uh, and just type the new word is like uh, yolo and press enter so now it's not going to print the yolo word it's just going to store it in this word variable all right so i can just echo this word and you can see yolo and let me clear the screen and do this again but this time with the meaning all right so instead of word i'm going to add meaning so meaning of the word and press enter so there should be something like uh, you live only once all right and again there is no output all i have to do is just echo meaning and you can see i'm getting the meaning so i think that's enough now we can just jump and write the script so let's write the script a new word and at the shebang line so bin asset and again word is equal to echo nothing d menu hyphen p and then something like add word and that's it and do the same thing with the meaning this time so add meaning and i think that's it and now what i can do is i can just echo the word and then meaning all right so that's it let's just save this file uh, make this executable and just execute this so add word mm, i don't know party and then uh an event where where people have fun enter so you can see i'm getting party and then this symbol which i just put and then an event where people have fun so it's just going to print this but i don't want to print this i want to store it into a file so i can use that later so again let's open new word and instead of printing this let's just store it into words.txt all right so this is what we have to do in order to redirect the output and append it into this file words.txt and i just want to make this file in my local share directory all right so this is where i want this file to be and that's it my script is done but that's not it all right so there is something more so don't leave this video yet so what i can do is now i can just run this from the my terminal or i can just use my d menu to run the script new word and press enter and again some new word something like power and some person friend and press enter so it did nothing but the script work all right so if i just go into my local share and here i got this words.txt and if i get this words.txt let me extend the text and clear the screen so you can see i'm getting power and some person strength and if i run this new word again and this time just you know something like remote and dev a device to control something from far away press enter i'm making some terrible examples here but you can see this thing is working it's appending in the file now what i can do is let me quickly add some new word again and this time talk a piece of a company i think my piece spell is wrong 
let me quickly fix this so it should be p so here you can see cat word dot txt we are getting three lines and now what i can do is i can use this shuff hyphen n one for one line and then words dot txt and you can see we are getting one random line so i can use shuff to get any random line and i can just add this in my CSHRC. so my CSHRC is in config you can also add this in bash rc if you are using bash so i'm not using bash i'm using csh so this is my CSHRC and i can just add shove hyphen n1 and then local share words .txt. and this is it and if i run zsh again and you can see every time i run zsh i'm getting one random word so this is nice because every time now i open my terminal i will get one random word which i don't know or you know which i'm trying to learn now i don't have lots of words right now in my uh, txt file so that's why i'm getting one again and again i don't know why i'm getting one so much so let's just add another word like uh, headphones a device to listen and again just open terminal okay i'm getting again one thing i don't know why okay it's working it's just like uh, I don't know why I was getting one word so much. So you can see I, every time I open the terminal, I'm getting a new word which I am trying to learn. So this is very useful. Hope you guys like this video.